So thank you everybody for being here on this late afternoon. I'm going to explain to you today our text guide technology and how we um, use it for the Asia Minor GNSS network donation project. So as everybody knows, in Turkey this February there was this devastating earthquake. Um, it was the strongest since 1939 with a magnitude of 7.8. Um, more than 50,000 casualties and 1.5 million people um, are homeless now. And we as a GNSS company, we thought how can we um, contribute to them? How can we help them? Um, especially because the damaged area was more than 350,000 um, square kilometers and it's getting more and more dangerous. Yeah, yesterday and the day before we had earthquakes in Afghanistan, um, also a couple of weeks ago in Morocco. So how we as a GNSS um, community can help those um, people in those areas. As you can see here, um, this is the tectonic plates in Asia Minor and why this is such a dangerous um, tectonic area. So we have in the south the African plate and the Arabian plate. They are pushing to the north and in the north we have the big heavy Eurasian plate which is not moving at all. So those two plates are squeezing in the Anatolian block and pushing it to the west. Like this, we have several very dangerous faults. We have the Dead Sea Fault in the south. In the middle, we have the East Anatolian Fault, where the last um, earthquake happened. And we have the North Anatolian Fault. And this fault is actually the most dangerous because it's going right through Istanbul. And there's just a recent study that next time when there's a big earthquake in Istanbul, more than 40% of the city will be flat. So, and here on the right side, you see on those faults, all the, um, the, the big earthquakes are distributed. So how can we help? Uh, we developed with um, Textplore Geontech our text guy um, software. With this software, we can measure together with our text hunt systems on the ground in millimeter accuracy and precision X, Y, and C. Um, how, and we thought about how can we help them with this technology. So, this technology is made to support governments, emergency management, and disaster response teams. We have, as you see on the ground, our tech stand. We can, we can connect it with up to four antennas. All four antennas will give millimeter accuracy and, pre and precision to the box and the box um, needs only power supply and uh, internet connection. With this internet connection it can, it can do the processing of the data so we reach with low cost um, receiver and antenna high accuracy comparable to IGS stations. Those data will be sent automatically in our text guy monitoring cloud and all the clients have access to it. They get the data on their phone or on their laptop. But how really is it working? So in our box, our software, everything is done autom uh, automatic and autonomous. So all the data is, is um, collected autonomous. We don't need any technicians, no people, no scientists, and automatic PPP data processing. With this, this is um, unique. So we are the first company who achieved this one. Um, the clients will get daily processed data with millimeter accuracy and precision and we can connect to our uh, um, cloud as many text hunts as you want. So it doesn't matter, everything will be done, everything will be in a database with one time scale and you can have as many points as you need. Uh, we validated our uh, millimeter accuracy with the GFZ. We tested our, so we are from Potsdam and the GFZ is um, two kilometers away from our office and they have an IGS station on their roof. We um, tested our um, tech stand 23 days on the roof and compared afterwards the data um, with our data and, we, and it, we matched it. So we have the same accuracy and precision as this IGS station but with low cost receiver and antenna. So here you see the tech sky GNSS network world map um, we already installed in France and Bordeaux. Another system is in the Netherlands and Breda. One is in Germany um, on the roof of the GFZ and one we have on the Hohe Warte in Vienna. Um, 
on the, on the um, right side, you see the Asia Minor. You see the tectonic faults. And here we already installed one system in Adana in Turkey. And, but still, to, our idea is to track with our Textant network the movement of the tectonic plates in millimeter accuracy and precision. This has not been done before, especially in such a cross-border, um, especially not cross-border. So this is the first cross-border GNSS network in six countries in Asia Minor. We are in close contact to every government, and everyone decided to share his data, and, but also get the data from the others. So we, are in, we will do this year um, installations in Syria, in Lebanon, in Jordan, in Saudi Arabia, and in Egypt. And we can also combine this with seismic data. And who knows when there will be a next earthquake and we have set up our network, we might see patterns which might be very valuable. Here you see our first donation in Adana. So we presented it in February, there was the earthquake, and two months later we've been in Adana, and we, Adana is very close to the earthquakes, and we um, donated it, and they instantly installed it. And this was the first step. Here you see the correlation between the movement and magnitude. So after we installed it in April, we um, we plotted, so our system plots automatically the data, and we can compare it with low magnitude earthquakes. Um, here you see there's no major uh, happening over five, but this is already valuable data. But to maybe talk about earthquake prediction, we need on each plate a text hunt even more, and we have to see if there's a pattern before. Compared this with our X, Y, and Z millimeter accuracy precision, and seismic data. Um, we use the center point mapping. So in Adana, we already installed our system now over six months. So we take the most accurate point in one month. We plot it for each month. So you see April, May, June, July, August, and September. And with this one, you can track the movement of the plate with one point. Um, this is already very helpful, but still, when we have set up our whole system, we will have the most valuable data in this area, and maybe we can see also patterns. So how it looks like. All the people contributing with us and partnering with us will get an automatic, uh, will get a password connected to their email, and they will have access to our text guy cloud. So there's no people in between. We set the system up, we need internet, and everything will be done automatically. There's no people doing any processing. You get every day your X, Y, and C in millimeter accuracy and precision. This is how our database looks like in the cloud. Um, you get X, Y, and C, and you can automatically see the graph. This it looks, it looks like this. And you get this for X, Y, and C. And when you have several antennas, you have one data set with one time, and you can compare them easily. So what's the workflow again? So we have the automatic data processing. We, data acquisition is automatically, processing is automatically, and the analysis will be also automatically by our software. The, the clients get a daily millimeter location data uploaded automatically to the cloud server text guy, and everyone who contributes gets access uh, to the results. So the donation is um, already set up, so we decided to donate eight text stands in total. Um, two will go to Turkey, so we have one in the Anatolian plate and one in the Aegean plate. In Syria, we will have one in the Arabian plate. In Lebanon, we will have two, uh, one on the Arabian plate and one on the African plate. In Egypt, we will have one. In Alexandria, in Jordan, we will have one in the Arabian plate. And in Saudi Arabia, we will have also one in uh, the Arabian plate. Uh, when we have set up this system, we are very confident that we can see the movement of the plates. And when, unfortunately, we have to wait for another big happening, but when we have this, we might see patterns 
weeks before, which are very, very valuable when we talk about um, the big goal of earthquake um, prediction. So our project um, schedule is like this. In February, the earthquake happened. In March, we presented our, um, our donation project. Um, Turkey instantly installed it in Adana. Um, now we're setting up the network this year in Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, and Saudi Arabia between November and December. And in December, we will have completed our eight GNSS stations. But we don't plan to stop here. So there are many other areas in the world and also the more Texans we have in this area, the higher is the accuracy, the more data, the more valuable. And um, especially we focus at the moment on Istanbul because when there's a major happening, it would be, first of all, very interesting data, very valuable. So thank you for your attention. Um, we are in the hall 5.2a when you have any questions afterwards. And we would be happy if you join the words Maybe people want to um, join us. Thank you. <clears throat>